All right, pay attention, boys. Hey, girls, whatever. Y'all SS here to learn the Penitus Oculatus, all right? Let's go through the profiles, see what we got so far on the board. First, we're going to be looking at a few of the, you know, the major players here. You might have, might have heard of some of these guys in World War II and that, but you might be surprised how many of them started here. You probably already heard a few. First thing we'll look at, you might recognize this guy. Oh, that's the same guy, ain't it? Yeah, what do you think? Come on, uh, come on, one of you guys got a Penitus Oculatus on this shit. Yeah, I'm sure one of you gets it. Remember remember when we were talking about Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, British spy master, we're straight out of the Queen's vagina. Yeah, that's what James Bond looks like, straight up. And, I mean, by, you know, I'm guessing that picture of him must have been taken right after he, you know, graduated, learned to speak Muslim Binder, uh, Borat Binder Muslim. Uh, military training, spy training, fucking, you know, logistics stuff, fucking, yeah, my god, man. He must have started when he was pretty young, I don't know if he's 30 or something there, but you get it, that means by the time he's Lawrence of Arabia, he doesn't have, like, what is he, 40 in that other picture? He can't, he, yeah, he couldn't have been that old by the end of it. No, man, fuck, guy probably spent his whole life dealing with that shit, and, yeah, I'm not sure, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> we can, we can touch back on that later, but yeah, there's the guy who, uh, got the quickie mart shut down. And again, I don't blame him if he just wanted to fuck with the Quickie Mart itself. But no, now Apu can't even go to the other Quickie. Yeah, right? Like that episode where he has to go to the first Quickie Mart ever made? Yeah, yeah, no. And I I, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to speculate on how much the Queen might have... Yeah, I, I guarantee you he was on a very loose need-to-know basis. Uh, yeah, and, and at a point he didn't know enough to realize what this was going to do. So I'm not going to demonize the man. Hey closest thing to demonizing is with the queen but i'll give her credit for the fact that she's still mortal she's still gonna die it's kind of like the pope right yeah spindly spider bitch is still just a spindly spider bitch yeah no this guy definitely i don't i don't think he could have known all the right even even if he wanted to even yeah even if what a how right cell phones beep 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 beep, beep in the fucking turkey or uh, pack turkmenistan yeah i don't think they're beep beep into turkmenistan man no that guy was uh, completely absorbed in that culture and I don't doubt that he thought when he thought Jerusalem was going to be, you know, what we were talking about. But no, straight up, Queen called some big hat fuck. Yeah, guy with a crazy hat. And you know what happens with guys with crazy hats. <laughs> Speaking of, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Now that, it's a big hat, but it's not too big. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's about as big... Uh, like yeah, you need you need some a bit of ego to do what he's doing. He's walking into Ottoman Turkey. He's he's walking into the Quickie Mart. He's he's introducing drastic sweeping reforms that finally allow uh, the rape mansion to be you know be, get open the doors of the rape mansion and let all the fucking slaves out. Straight up, yeah, no, you know if you want to if you if you've ever been worried about how women get treated in some Muslim societies, this motherfucker right here. I, I, you know, I can't blame him for needing a slightly bigger hat to deal with this, and it's just enough of a hat that, yeah, he's got it cut off right at the top. He knows exactly how much hat he needs to deal with this. Straight up. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like the Tsar Ruski thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of allies sort of take uh, Russia for granted as, a, as an ally, and, you know, Cold War, oh, what? Uh, yeah, oh, the Soviet Union becomes your greatest enemy. We'll get to it. Yeah, guys, come on fucking Russian rapist, hell. Yeah, th this is our Russian rapist, literally, except it kind of the op Russian anti-rapist. The guy who's like, can we get a smaller hats and less rape up in this shit? Straight up, in walks this guy. Opens their slave mansion, cuts the hat down to size, still needs a little, because yeah, he's a lot to fucking deal with. He's got to get the quickie mark back into shape. No, you probably get it. I don't expect you to think this guy's like, you know, whatever. He might look like a dork or whatever. Fuck, he might even be whiter than some of us, right? Yeah, exactly. About the same, right? Slight tan. No, you get Most of you guys get it. Yeah, no. And thing is, yeah, like, imagine he wasn't wearing that hat. Oh, right? Straight up. It's, yeah, you're right. It's a half joke. The best jokes are true. If he wasn't wearing that hat, could you recognize him? Yeah. Oh, is this the bender you're looking for, right? Careful. This is the Borat you're looking for. All right, next, what about this one? Ah, you've seen it before, haven't you? Yeah, you look familiar, Penitus Oculatus? Yeah, you say, it says UK in the bottom. Oh, it's probably British, yeah. Who's the only British? Yeah, Monty, right, straight up. Yeah, yeah, UK, he looks familiar. It's something about opium, yeah, a sensible amount of opium usage. Straight up Monty right there. Doesn't even have a fucking hat. Straight up. 
Motherfucker's on his way with the expeditionary force. We're gonna touch down with that soon. <clears throat> and here's another young uh, officer. Almost kind of looks like him. They probably could have been bras if they knew each other, right? What about this guy? Huh? huh? Oh, what, what do you see there? Oh, Iron, Iron Cross. Oh, he was, he's not a Nazi yet, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I don't expect you know, it's, it's not Hitler, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, Rommel. Uh, yeah, that's Buddy Rommel who's going to come and join in on the Sicilian mob wars, but it's going to turn into like artillery duels in the Alps. But, you know, straight up, fucking, he's just, whatever. Let's, what, what do we got today, boys? Yeah, he, he passed the gladiator test. He didn't fucking die, at least, you know. I don't know, he's one of the ones that, yeah, stuck around for us, I guess, for the most part, right? We didn't really meet, uh, like, some of the other guys, like, you know. Speaking of, <laughs> this is the only one in color. I know, yeah, this guy's got a pretty distinctive appearance. Yeah, yeah, right, right? Again, take a look. He's got a sword, is that British? I don't know, he's smoking a cigar. Oh, no, what's that on his neck? Yeah, no, he looks like a Nazi. <laughs> Straight up, he just looks like a Nazi, right? He's got typical evil Nazi look to him. <laughs> A little one too many fucking, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, that's, uh, Goring. That's the Master Ace pilot. Uh, Red... Not the Red Baron, sorry. There was... Yeah, no, sorry. I, I have to uh, double check on that. There's... The Red Baron is, like, the famous, uh, German pilot. Air Forces are barely there yet. Yeah, we're still working with, like, monoplane scouts and stuff. Actual... There, there's not much Air Force fighting in World War One. There's only a couple actual air battles with, like, you know, Mr. Burns monoplanes that most of them don't even have guns built into them. You literally need a second... Like, you see planes with two seats. Yeah, the other seat is for the guy with the gun or the grenades or... Yeah, so that's pretty much where they're at at this point in time. And he's, like, one of the first pilots ever in, in to do dogfighting. And sure enough, he survived and became the Air Force General. It's like Rommel became the field general, right? The uh, armor tank general, whatever. And Monty is also to become a general. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we ever see Lawrence of Arabia again. I don't doubt some fucking Hashashin straight up killed Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, I would not doubt it. All right, uh, yeah, let's move on down. Uh, ooh, what about this guy? Oh, I know, right? So fucking, that's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, what? What can? Yeah, yeah. I'll like, leave that with you guys for a few minutes. Look, yeah. Who do you think that is? I know one of you might be thinking it. Now, dumb guesses are okay as long as I think you're trying to learn something. He does look like he could be some kind of mobster, right? Yeah, yeah. Which part of Tuscany is this guy from? No, no. Um, time's up, comrade. That's fucking Soviet Stalin. Yeah, fucking straight up. That's Joseph Stalin, back before he looked like a cr crazy old man, back when he still had, you know. He kind of looks like a serial killer. I know, straight up, that looks like a mugshot of a serial killer. I don't doubt he rolled up out of Bosnia or Serbia or fucking anywhere, everywhere, nowhere. Guy could have crawled out of a fucking ditch one day from an abortion, straight up. And just whatever, straight up Spartan self-survival uh, right to the... Look at him, he is, yeah, nothing is going to stop this man from fucking, yeah, the Soviet Union comrade. We're not there yet. It, you know, well, yeah, so let's speculate on what else you see here. It is funny, when you see a picture of old Stalin, yeah, obviously, crazy, angry old man with too much power. Yeah, no, he had to start somewhere, man. I don't think this guy was any kind of royalty, uh, any kind of soldier. He's not an officer. He's not a fucking politician. He's, oh, uh, yeah, who the hell is this guy? Could have been a fucking Serbian black hand assassin right straight up. You'd never know. I don't know, he looks like he came from nothing, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't have any badges, any hats, any any trophies, any nothing. He's got a nice suit, he probably stole it from someone he killed, like, right? No, yeah, the fucking Hannibal Lecter straight up stole someone's suit after- I'm, you know, not demonizing the man, I'm poking fun at him. I got some level of respect for him. He did become negligent after a while. We'll get to that later. Uh, uh, you'll notice a pattern with all- yeah, it's bound to happen to everyone eventually. But no, I mean, yeah, because, I mean, really, if you if you got a Iron Cross, it's a Maltese Cross, by the way, guys. You, yeah, you've been using the Maltese Cross, Knights of Malta. <laughs> we'll figure out where Malta is eventually, yeah, and then you can start calling it an Iron Cross. No, he ain't got no Iron Cross. He ain't got no fucking British badges, wings, nothing, man. Fucking straps, belts. He's got a fucking... He looks like he, he looks like he could fit in with some mobsters with the suit and that. So I don't know, but I don't know, right? He, yeah, maybe he could fucking mimic voices like me, right? He could be fucking, oh, bender, bender. Yeah, you never know, man. And I guess the reason I'm emphasizing this is, yeah, when you see Stalin looking like this, yeah, I'm sure even, whatever, yeah, he's a suave, smooth-talking kind of guy. I'm sure, yeah, like, again, it, it's hard to, when you see the crazy old man, it's like, my God, why is anyone listening to him? When you see this guy, 
Why is anyone listening to him? Bitch, you'd listen to him, probably depending on the situation. Yeah, I'm sure he could get you listening to him. You might see what I mean by, you know, the penitus oculatus, yeah. <laughs> pictures worth a thousand words, sometimes a word can be worth a thousand pictures. But yeah, I don't know. When you, yeah, when you see this picture, and then you'll, we'll sh I'll show you old man crazy Stalin when we get there, bud. But yeah, that that tells you a lot more about his character than any amount of googling uh, on communism, right? He didn't invent communism. No, well, what about? Well, what about? That's what? Yeah, you fucking what about whatever? Are you taking notes on this, bud? Are you you can you recognize the uh, Kamala Tatark without his hat? <laughs> kind of looks like Hitler. Yeah, no, maybe I right. No, the, yeah, no, I don't know what you mean. No, you know what I mean. This guy, I'm sure ladies would find him attractive. I'm sure he can smooth talk his way through offices and fucking pretend he's a businessman fucking anything right probably the le yeah right um, she probably crawled out of a ditch after an abortion i do not doubt it <laughs> i didn't plan this but what about this guy <laughs> right grumpy angry like evil yeah straight up dr evil uh, some of you might th that might be one of the only people here you recognize i mean someone's gonna say oh that's lenin yeah that's lenin buddy leningrad yeah not john lenin <laughs> No, that's this is the guy who cr started the Soviet Union officially, right? And yeah, yeah, but he's already old. Yeah, yeah he's already yeah. And I don't, no, I'm not saying I don't think Stalin killed him or anything. There is some sketchy history there to look at. And once again, uh, yeah, before we get into Google Gulag green checkmark territory, you must acknowledge that the Soviet Union comrade has no obligation to the Freedom of Information Act. Call it a cop out. Call it a cock ring. Call it a floppy dildo, I don't care. What that means is you do not have a right to this information. We're lucky to find anything. These pi We're lucky to have these pictures. And, yeah, no, I'm not saying they're illegal or classified or st top secret. No, 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 no. But you get what I mean. No one has to give these to us, right? You, you can't subpoena them to court and be like, oh, you need to show me, yeah, right? Yeah, no, what we got is what we got. Welcome to Penitus Oculatus. So... This picture is the only one that had a date attached to it, 1921. It's right after the war, basically, a couple years after. He's already 50-something. Yeah, I don't doubt he's got some kind of... So, he, he's, yeah, a heart attack around the corner, Grandpa, just from stress, just from being a grumpy man. I don't know. He looks like a grumpy Grandpa. But hey, you know, some serious shit's got to get done sometimes. Straight up, man. That guy's got a lot of, uh, a lot of weight on his shoulder, and realistically... And we're talking about the Tsarina and the Russian rapist. No, I'm not saying he's a rapist. That's what you guys were calling him, because the best Italian movie of the year, bitch. It's, it's up to you to believe. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Betty. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it came to executing the royal family, when the Soviet Union replaced the Tsar family, this would have been the guy on the gas and brake pedal, regardless of whether he pulled the trigger or gave the order or allowed the order. Yeah, if someone could have said stop or go. That was the man, and yeah, I know, right, at this point, when the Soviet Union and communism become the greatest enemy of all mankind, yeah, that, oh yeah, this picture right here, the evil communist, Dr. Evil, child murdering buddy, the Russians saved you in World War, you're waiting for them now, oh, that was a different, uh, the Russian Cossacks are the Russian Cossacks, comrade, the penetrating eye of the Penitus Oculatus. Let's take a look at both of them next to each other. Ah, right, these two men. These two men will guide, yeah, right? Think of between these two guys, how much of the world has been influenced by the angry, not angry, grumpy. Yeah, no, I don't want to say stick up his ass. Uh, you, you know, yeah, you, you, Dr. Evil here. Stern, just like no bullshit, no nonsense, has never laughed at a joke in his life, right? Does not know the meaning of humor or comedy or whatever. He's just fucking get shit done, boy. And the man who crawled out of a ditch after an abortion and stole a suit and combed his hair and became the most suave, sexy man in Russia until he owned almost the whole world. But it's a little, yeah, it's a little different. A little different, all right? Yeah, I'm saying better or worse. I'm just saying it ain't the Dutch indie boys running into the meat grinder. We still got to talk about that eventually. Now, yeah, <clears throat> one of you might be thinking or wondering if you should think, hey, if you got a suggestion, it's fine. Just don't go full on hipster douchebag with it. I don't know if they knew each other or they, they probably met. I wouldn't doubt they might have met each other, but I mean, in a way, it, it's I don't think that would be necessary. Remember, yeah, right. How necessary is that is uh, don't start there is what I'm saying. It's possible. 
Yeah, we could Google around. Hey, if you want to Google, go Googling, but don't go Googling into a fucking rabbit hole lizard orgy, right? If you do, bring some Italian brandy, the cheap stuff. Straight up. But here, yeah, <laughs> this is what I mean. Work with what you got, and before you go look, right? If you just run around in circles looking for more, what are you really going to find? Start with what you already have, and then, hey, whatever your most itching question is, you're, yeah, what about that? Well, that's when you start saying, what about I'm just saying, yeah, they might have known each other or not. I do. I doubt they conspired much. They wouldn't need to conspire much. Think about it. Countries trade hands all the time. You could say the same about any, yeah, any empire. Uh, Genghis Khan. Was there a fucking right? A conspiracy between Genghis Khan and fucking Putin? Or like, yeah, checks his phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he saw this guy. Yeah, no, I'm sure Stalin knew... Because remember, this grumpy Grandpa Dr. Evil here is famous. Yeah, everyone knows who Lenin is. They built a fucking statue of him in Leningrad and they replaced St. Petersburg. Yeah, right? I'm sure Stalin has seen this picture or has heard... Yeah, famous guy, nobody. Famous guy, nobody. Soon to be more famous guy. I'm sh Yeah, kind of a one-way relationship, right? It's like hearing a song on the radio. And, I, you know, I'm speculating here. Yeah, how, did he look up to him? Was that his hero? Maybe not his hero, but still, you know what I mean? Someone you have some level of respect for. It's kind of like me with Stalin. No, he's not my hero. But I'm sure by now, yeah, of all the people we are going to see here, this I, I would stake, you know, I bet a fair portion that Stalin started with the least and ended up with the most. Right? Why? Well, yeah, who really won what war, buddy? Uh, he went from the ditch to the bitch. I don't know. He could be some mobster, but I don't just want to say that. Yeah, I'm sure you're thinking it too. Yeah, maybe he's from Tuscany. Maybe he's from Sicily. He could be from fucking Turkmenistan. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Who knows? Well, this is the thing. His yeah, his parents. Yeah, what if his mom went from says well, too many Panucci pizza shootouts? His mom had to go to Russia. Yeah, you ne right. You never know. And we'll get to this. It's gonna. It doesn't happen till near the end of the war, but. You know, you guys, yeah, you guys, with your spindly spider bitch bullshit, that's, yeah, uh, Queen's super weapon is her fucking spindly spider bitch shit. Yep, we got a little spindly counter spider trick of our own, right? It's called Angry Grandpa. Yeah, you know, yeah, Angry Grandpa there. Yeah, I know, well, yeah, we got Angry Grandpa. Yeah, you know what that means. Oh, do you know what that means? Someone might know what that means. It means we can send Angry Grandpa to Russia. And what, what do you think happens when we send Angry Grandpa to Russia? Oh boy, yeah, spindly spider bitch indeed. We'll get to that. Uh, but I mean, no, he's not a spy. Yeah, no, he's not a he's not a secret agent. He's not in the mafia. He's a, not even a prisoner of war. He's like a refugee in Switzerland. Yeah, you know how like Einstein w worked in Switzerland. Yeah, a, a lot of people end up going to Switzerland uh, for gold. Yeah, no, buddy, get real. Little neutral Switzerland up in the high up in Mount Mordor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the only countries that's been able to maintain neutrality. If you need a place to hide, yeah, yeah, yeah. Switzerland, and yeah, right? If you got the money, anything, yeah, what? Probably not a lot, but you know, anything. You know, a lot of these guys who run away from Russia or Germany or Italy, yeah, yeah Bosnia, Serbia. A lot of them end up in Switzerland, and yeah, you know, uh, you don't send an army up the Alps like fucking Hannibal with his elephants, uh, yeah, straight up, but if Mario and Luigi, or uh, Waluigi, is he good at climbing? Yeah, anyone, which one of you guys wants to climb Mount Mordor and go talk to the Swiss? They probably have an airport nowadays, but you probably get what I mean about Switzerland, yeah. In order to maintain a neutrality like that, it's not like it's invulnerable, yes, it is possible to get a big ma fucking bomb and blow up Switzerland, but again, what's the point? It's not like it's good or bad, it's pointless, it's a waste of effort. It's like boot fucking Bosnia, it's like, buddy, we're supposed to go to Serbia, yeah, right, that's Panucci's Pizza. <laughs> oh god, right, yeah, waste of fucking waste of ammo, right, fucking waste of ammo. No, thing is, yeah, you make it inconvenient, right, yeah, you, you want to conquer Switzerland, buddy, you gotta climb Mordor first before you can even get started, then you can start conquering Switzerland. At that point, yeah, any lazy half-assed attempt from any, you know, you've seen lazy half-assed bullshit all the way coming, yeah, none of this shit, none of these people are gonna waste time with Switzerland if they know they actually have to put real work into it right away. 
But I the the only one of these mother yeah cra yeah the other this guy I'm sure he'd climb there at fucking at night sneaking around yeah straight up black cloak fucking throw it off turn it inside out now he's a bush fucking hiding in a box you know no that's a little extreme no this guy could just show up in Switzerland one day the other suave uh, handsome dude yes exactly hello madam yeah fucking whatever let's go back from Bosnia fucking whatever dude yeah you you don't think he could speak Italian or Belbrushka mona yeah fucking whatever he needs to say to anyone anytime. All right, yeah, no, we'll we'll get back to these gentlemen, and no, and I'm right. You're thinking he didn't do that. No, why? I don't. Maybe, but no. Again, would you need? Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, you remember what we were just talking about the Alps? Yes, that's quite an adventure. If this man had reason to climb Mount Mordor, sure. No, and think about it. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, you might get it. It's kind of like the Jesus and church. Which came first, Jesus or the church? My God, motherfucker. Stalin would have no reason to know who Lenin is until we sent him to Russia and he became famous. Once they built a statue of him in fucking Leningrad. Yeah, right then Stalin's gonna hear about it. Yeah, right, that makes sense. Right, yeah, lizard man can sp Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The Lenin or the Stalin? And th you probably get what I mean. He might have sh 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 uh, shakes his hand once in a crowd, maybe. Yeah, right? You get what I mean. Like, fucking seeing Eminem walking out of the concert straight up. Grumpy old man Eminem. Fucking all his fans of uh, pe yelling Russian people. Most of them were happy. I don't doubt Stalin saw him in a crowd once, but uh, you know what I mean. D a distant relationship and... You're, yeah, it doesn't need to go any further. Yeah, he might have been mildly obsessive about the idea, but no, he, he's more logical, right? He Maybe he... I'm, I'm not going to say what's going on in that man's head right now. Yeah, straight up. But I don't doubt it's... I don't... It's not a lizard man conspiracy, otherwise he wouldn't have gotten very far. No, 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 no. He would have ended up, like, looking like crazy grandpa. Yeah, with... <laughs> right? But not without a Russia. No. I don't know. You know, we'll think about it. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's look at these two guys again. Oh, you've seen them both. I know, don't they look like they could be, not brothers, but like, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Britannic Empire and you guys, yeah, yeah, Saxons. You guys, this is the thing, yeah, you guys conquered the shit out of England, didn't you, a long time ago? Yeah, they, hey, you know, some of these guys, yeah, right? Let's go fuck up Germany for all those times those damn Saxons and Vikings invaded fucking, I don't even know, Mercia, the kingdom of Mercia, King Arthur, but King Arthur was Roman, bitch. Oh, straight up. If they ever throw King Arthur shit at you guys, bitch, do you know who King Arturius, yeah, Arturius is King Arthur, bitch, Arturius. The Britannic Empire very much is a Romanic, Roman, yeah, state. They've preserved the language. You, you speak English now, I presume. Unless you got some Google Translator, love me long time shit translating this for you right now. Yeah, straight up, right? Even fucking Monte here knows what's up, mate. No, straight up, mate. No, no fucking hell. Oh, he's even, even he's saying at 1 1 and 1 0, dude, bro. Yeah, you know the fucking binary. They do. Yeah, right? They're almost a, a, I wouldn't say crossbreed of you and I, right? They've got the Latin dude bra. They've got, they almost look like Rommel. They, yeah. <sighs> It's hard to say, though, because, yes, we con- Yeah, okay, let's compare history. When did you conquer England, and when did we conquer England? Straight up. Now, yeah, we gotta figure this shit out, boys. Yeah, no, one of you SS uh, guys uh, get, trying to get into the Penitus Oculatus FBI here. Straight up. Yeah, I, I don't know, too- I, I know that you- bunch of you- Yeah, bunch of you guys invaded England at some point. And we did help them, that's how we, yeah, that's how Britain was created, was Arturius and some Roman knight, they called them knights, we were, I don't know, they, they, I, they abbreviated a lot of these words, right, Arthur instead of Arturius, I mean, knight could have been like, uh, I don't know, Praetor fucking Maximus Imperatus, yeah, they're like, what the fuck is this guy saying? They, yeah, when we found them, they were much like you, and the thing is, the same kind of relationship that, yeah, between Ger Germanic and Romanic, that they have the exact same relationship in their society, but it's isolated in the Kingdom of Britain. It's very much half Germanic, half Saxon, slash uh, Celtic, slash whatever, and they banded together against you guys. It, it's around a similar time. No, but this is the thing you guys know. Yeah, you know, any of uh, the, the Rommel descendants here, whatever, fucking, you guys have been a longer campaign of piracy. G yeah, dating back long to the old Jarls of fucking ancient Saxony. I don't even know, right? That's your guys' thing. You want the, you want the fucking, right, the dude bra uh, perspective. 
How did Dude Bra get there? King Arthur. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're not going in too far in that rabbit hole. All I'll say is pretty much everything you've heard about King Arthur's Camelot Castle and the Knights of the Round Table. We dance when we're able. We do routines and chorus scenes and footwork and pel cable. We dance well here in Camelot. We eat ham and spam and spam a lot. Yeah, that's from fucking... Yeah, now the British guy is laughing his ass off. But yeah, he knows it. I could roll up into England like Stalin here. Oh, I might. Cheers. Yeah. I, I, you might think I sound like a dork, but my god, it's possible. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> you guys have probably thought about this. I'm sure, you know, this is one part of quote-unquote propaganda that I I don't think either of us are going to argue against. It's almost gives you that, that. That's why you respect Monty. Yeah, you would not respect Monty's red coat division otherwise, right? There's a reason. Yeah, mirror societies indeed. Did you talk to Binder at the Quickie Mart? Yeah, this is like the Crusades. This is your guys' version of the Crusades. That's Binder or Monty Binder or yeah, straight up. Uh, we had our thing with Binder in Jerusalem. You had your thing with Monty in Saxony. Hey, I, someone might want to start arguing about all the religious bullshit, but you don't think there this was a religious war to Loki and Thor? Yeah, I, that, I did not even mean to make that rhyme. Religious war to Loki and Thor, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you best be praying a Thor when you're going to conquer Saxony. What if King Arthur shows up? Motherfucking legionnaires, what? They didn't tell us, right? I don't doubt some of them would have recognized a co just some of us, because right, because the Knights of the Round Table was like a, 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 a cohort of Roman soldiers, basically. Yeah, shiny armor and sh spears. And, ooh, the jungle savages. Hey, man. I only say that once as a joke. I won't ever call them savages again, all right? Now, I gotta say it. You know what I'm saying? No. Straight up, I might have to, but it's gotta be in context, right? It's a difference between, yeah, you know, Monty knows the difference, right? Yeah, mate, straight up, mate. No, they get the joke, yeah. Anytime someone bitches at white people about the savages, hey, straight up. They may be very, yeah, but, but straight up, it happened to them too, so yeah, 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 yeah. don't get too cocky, kid. Hey, yeah, I know, you know, we're, we're lingering here for a reason, you probably get it. Yeah, no, this is the war. For most of you guys, this is it. It's Monty versus Rommel, those are the poster childs. Those guys need to jump into the gladiator pit, right? And no, that'd be epic. But, yeah, that's not spindly spider bitch's plan. That ain't gonna get no cracker heroin. Yeah, right? We don't gotta go back to grumpy grandpa, do ya? He's still waiting in Switzerland. Oh, man. Picture can be worth a lot, but it wouldn't be worth as much without you giving it that penetrating eye, right? Yeah, no, you gotta speculate. No, imagine you were one of the... Which one are you? Imagine I flipped them around without the names. Oh, yeah, if I, straight up. If I took away the UK and the thing that's... Yeah, his tiny, vague name there took away all the easy clues and flipped them around like a ace of card tricks Ooh, which is the card bitch yeah it, it, the iron cross right yeah i don't know they yeah either one could be either one you could swap their uniforms and you would not notice the difference and i'm sure for you guys yeah it's weird fighting like you don't hate them i don't think they hate you right Kind of like me and Binder. Yeah, it takes a long time to deal with a fucking crusade. A holy war of Loki and Thor, bitch. Straight up. And then you ran into some legionnaires, Arturius and his cohort. God damn. Yeah, straight up crusade in your history there, bud. Ah, uh, but one of you's thinking it now. Ain't no WMD smart bombs in fucking Britain apart from the IRA motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Remember Mustafa Kamal Ataturk and Lawrence of Arabia? Crew, yeah, you gotta cut that hat down to size, bud. That man's got style. <laughs> I, I hope you understand. I respect this man's choice in hat fashion more than, right? Of, of all this uh, goofy appearance going on here. He almost looks like, dude, oh, straight up, he looks like Crazy Grandpa. Yeah, right, doesn't it, right? If I swapped cr Angry Grandpa with this dude and put the hat on Angry Grandpa, right? Yeah, careful, Monty and Rommel. Yeah, oh, wait, are you wearing your Iron Cross or your fucking, I don't know, Knights of the Round Table? No, you probably get it. Today, it's, uh, you know, there, there, there's there, the epic soccer games between fucking England and Germany, right? Yeah, straight up, it's... So, yeah, me and Bender, yeah, yeah you, know, you know, it's a little... It, Jerusalem is complicated. Yeah, you guys don't have to deal with Jerusalem. You gotta deal with the crown. Yeah, 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 don't say... Yeah, the ring, Frodo, the fucking ring, Samwise Gamgee. Yeah, don't be thinking it ain't nothing. Yeah, we got Jerusalem, you got the Frodo's crown dildo ring. 
Uh, don't, don't get too fixated on... Yeah, right, guys? Uh, you probably get it, right? Yeah. I've been through this with Binder, man. Yeah, a lot, a lot of cavalry charges against the Arabian Knights before we figured out... Dude, just convert to Islam. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Do I, yeah, I don't know what kind of relationship you guys got about converting to the religious war of Loki and Thor. I don't doubt each of you make jokes, but I don't, they don't have a pantheon, right? They were pagan. They, yeah, they latched onto ours until... The, the church, yeah, no, I don't even know, man. The Protestant, they invented their own church because King Henry needed to divorce his bitchy wife. And straight up, after all the bullshit we've seen, King Henry is humble Joe man who needed a, a divorce his bitchy wife. Whatever, man, straight up. He wanted to divorce his wife and he flipped off the Pope doing it. Yeah, no, in, in case you're wondering, yeah, if you get married in a Catholic church... <laughs> It's not that you're not allowed to get divorced, it's that there is no such thing as divorce. Yeah, it's till death do you part, period. Yeah, did you read the fine print? No, yeah, there is no fine print. Yeah, that's it, it's till death do you part, bud. The only way out is for one of you to die. Welcome to Panucci's Pizza, take your <laughs> right? Yeah, no, they wanted their own church so they could divorce their bitchy wives. And, you know, I'll try, try to be a little serious here, too. That Yeah, that means women could divorce their husbands, too. Right? Yeah, hypothetically, you never know. What if it was Grumpy Grandpa? What if it was Macho Man Stalin who turned out to be Hannibal Lecter? Either way, I know what you're thinking. And yeah, you know what? That's why I haven't gotten married. Yes, you, sh you should think about these things before getting married. Yeah, you should think about, you know, contracts with Diablo and the fucking Mafia, right? It's like joining the Mafia. Welcome to the family. And yeah, I mean, personally, it's a fine line. I, I do think people should be allowed to get divorced, yes. If you realize you are married to Grumpy Grandpa or the, the guy who... Yeah, 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 you never know, right? Yeah, you're gambling. I don't doubt some ladies would marry Stalin. Yeah, this guy's like, no, bitch, I need a thousand nuclear missiles. Yeah, straight up, that's what he's thinking about. Not, not really, but yeah, no, he's got bigger plans than... yeah. I'm, and hey, I'm just saying... Yeah, right? You, it depends on what's going on. Hey, what if he was like Salalululeleman? Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, you're lucky he's not like Salalululeleman. That's why motive is so important. It's easy to think, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter why, buddy. It doesn't matter why after you catch the guy, right? Before you catch the guy, why is the difference between Salalululeleman's rape mansion or a fucking Soviet nuclear silo? For the most part, you're, you're trying to, yeah, put yourself in that guy's shoes and imagine where you would go. And since we know where he's going, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's that's what we got to start and work with, right? Yeah, you might get it. You know who he is. You know where he's going. What about the journey in between? Yeah, let's start spitball speculating with a little, little pieces at a time. Yeah, like nibbling on some fine crumpets and biscuits and tea. Yes, Monty. Indubitably. I don't know what yeah, you're doing, Alaric, there. Okay, anyway, fucking Rommel. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I can say that to Buddy after he wins the fucking Mafia tournament down south. Yeah, no, don't worry. Monty, oh no, yeah, we got some respect for Monty, too. You probably know why. I don't think he told the Queen she was a bitch immediately or ever, but no, nah, dude, just straight up. He saw what was happening there and probably almost shit a brick before calling the Queen back. Yeah, so this is where we're sending all those Dutch indie boys. Yeah, this is where we send all the tea and spices. I, I'm sure he had, you know, he wasn't naive. He knew there were, you know, people working out on the plantations for the tea and spices. No, buddy, this is the meat grinder for the Dutch indie boys. We're still waiting for the Call of Duty squad down in Tuscany. Yeah, shits a brick and composes himself half bulb of opium, maybe a little more than usual. Buddy, sometimes Superman's got to do what Superman's got to do because this motherfucker is straight up one step below in, in yeah, you get it. He, he That's it. He's the only guy. Him and his tiny little group of soldiers. Oh, you're here to fucking help, buddy. I'm here to look, take a look around and call the queen and dilly-dally while she jerks off smoking meth. And yeah, dude, yeah, he's like, I got a ration my opium. Yeah, just straight up. Right? No, because he's yeah, if he starts asking for more opium, yeah, no, I, I don't doubt it. Motherfucker double-checked his opium box and was like, all right, let's fucking get her done, boys. If you remember, as far as I can tell, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Monty, uh, this was his first, like, real outing. Like, he had, he had, you know, some mild, you know, he's been on, 
He's toured around on a ship. He's yeah, he's just out of the academy. He's yeah, he's young. He's younger than me. Might be younger than you. He's probably 20 years old. He's fresh out of the academy. I'm hey, yeah, you get what I mean. No, he's got all the potential and all the capacity. Not a lot of uh, he hasn't seen this yet, and he probably hasn't seen. A, he was I think pretty sure he was on his way to his first actual colony run to go round up some Dutch indie boys. But this is well, you think about it either way. Uh, you know, again, the queen herself, spindly spider bitch, is... Uh, d yeah, remember, this ain't lizard man conspiracy. Yeah, she's not... She, yeah, I, I gotta be careful myself not going too crazy with this, like Pope Don Diablo and shit. Yeah, there's still people. There's other popes, there's other queens and kings. This particular queen... Yeah, we've been dealing with this bitch for a long time. She's been queefing all across Europe since the fucking... I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's good enough. You both know what I mean. The winds of shit blowing down the fucking... Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, they're both laughing at this. Well, once Monty sees the meat grinder... Oh, brah, yeah, no, yeah, right? Yeah, this is just like me and Bender, man. Every time, yeah, every time... You just realize that, dude, in the end, we should be, uh, no, we, we should replace both of our kids, Kaiser Wilhelm and the fucking queen of bullshit. What I'm saying is, I don't think the queen picked her himself, but right under, whoever the admiral, colonel, yeah, top brass admiral general of the naval fucking battalion fleet of star destroyers, he was, he, yeah, get, get the best guy you got, best of the best, sir, fucking your go-to guy for the colonels, like, I know, just the guy, yeah, because, come on, otherwise it would have been someone else, this, they, yeah, right, I'll, I'll give the soldiers credit for being, yeah, they, they, you know, I like to poke fun at the British Navy, but until we start sinking those battleships, we gotta give them some credit for that. And one of you might be thinking, you know, same, same with Rommel. You guys did the same thing with Rommel. Get the best guy you got and send him to fucking Tuscany. God damn, blow some bitches' brains out on the sidewalk. No, the thing is, most of it was like climbing around the, uh, up Mount Mordor, not to, to Switzerland. Yeah, no, we're, we're only halfway to Switzerland. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. He ends up climbing, well... Austria, yeah, we're, we're in the Alps, but yeah, he's going to help Praetorian guards with deal with soldiers that were recruited by the Mafia. Yeah, right, I don't know some of these, you saw, in, even in The Godfather, the guy was from the army to the Mafia. Yeah, there's probably a little, uh, you know, double career shit going on. Details are fuzzy down in Tuscany. Rommel's on his way to find out. Yeah, ends up climbing around in the Alps to set up cannons, right? Yeah, we're gonna get our cannons even higher to shoot your cannons down playing artillery game wars in the fucking mountains. I'm sure some mobsters, I'm sure he ran into some mobsters at Panucci's. Yeah, he, he learned what Panucci's was. But no, you get it. You're starting to draw your own conclusions. Both of these guys were picked for you know, the same motive, right? Yeah, motive for picking each of these guys was who's the best, you know, lieutenant, fucking lieutenant first class, whatever. Low ranking, but the best of the, yeah, best of those guys. Not best of the best of the best, but best of the best. To fight the best. <laughs> right? Don't get too confused. No, you got it. These guys were picked for the same reason from, the, yeah, the, right? They're, you can see them not mirrored. They're not twins. One, yeah, they look different, but similar. And this is, you know, all I'm saying is there's a reason these two became, the like, the most famous, right? Oh, famous Monty. We'll, I'll show you the old guy pictures later. But we're starting, yeah, generally people start out younger and grow older. This is not Benjamin Button Kamala Tatark. His hat is not going to shrink or grow. It will stay the same size. If anyone was born as a grumpy grandpa, yeah, it was, yeah, this man was born uh, looking, yeah, this man has not aged a day in his life and he's probably going to die tomorrow. He has always looked like this. Yeah, it is prove me wrong. Prove to me he did not look like that when he came out of there. Yeah, yeah. For, look at your new baby. That was the straight up look he gave his mom the day he was born. <laughs> got milk? Yeah, straight up. That is, yeah, got milk, man. Straight up. That was, the, yeah. You know what's up, bitch. Yeah, you pop out this motherfucker. He's just gonna look at you and be like, bitch, where's the milk? <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy had to find his own milk. Uh, yeah, you, you know, borderline. You know what I'm saying? I, I've heard he came from poverty. Yeah, it's vague. Yeah, vague poverty is vague poverty indeed, Paisano. Straight up. I know you're waiting for Hitler. Yeah, save the best for last, right? Eh, the the one you were waiting for. Like, if you were waiting for Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, yeah, if, if you were Binder, yeah, I would have put this guy last and been like, buddy, 
Look, yeah, the hat. Oh, to what did I tell you about the hat? Right? Yeah, no, we're we ain't in Jerusalem. This is the fucking holy war of Loki and Thor. Oh, you know what that means? Hitler comes out last, but oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess just to clarify, to help you guys with your crusade, uh, yeah, we conquered Britain last. It, yeah, I think I mentioned, yeah, when we had to learn how to build boats. Yeah, laugh it up, fucking Rommel. Yeah, yeah, you guys building your fucking submarines. Took us, yeah, there's a reason Italy doesn't have a navy. Yeah, yeah I don't know, Carthaginians had a navy, fucking whatever, yeah, it's, I don't know, fucking elephants. Yeah, yeah, they had a bunch of shit we didn't, and whatever, get the fucking caveman nukes. I'm sure you guys understand. Yeah, your you, you, yeah, your ability to build boats it's it's both something respectable to us but also very like extortion racket. You know, yeah, you guys got the extortion fucking racket, the, the racketeering operation on the the naval shit going on. Yeah, it's that's the closest thing you got to a mafia so far is your fucking the navy you guys are building. Cuz yeah, it's something we don't it's not like we can't do it. It, it's just, it would be a lot of work, yeah. It would be, yeah, we'd all have to stop shooting each other at Panucci's. <laughs> nah, you, you know I'm exaggerating. I'm trying to keep things a little lighthearted. We could get really depressing and Joe Hitler, and, yeah, right? We're not even at Hitler yet. Yeah, his, yeah, we'll get there. We're almost there. But yeah, no, for you guys, so much of this, so much of it is the holy war of Loki and Thor. I don't know which one's which. Yeah, spindly spider bitch, man. I'm sure you're looking at him like Loki. And yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll, again, I'll try to pin down the timeline. It would have been after, yeah, after Julius Caesar, after the crazy bitch werewolf river. We already met you guys. You would already recognize us. I don't doubt at least one of you recognized us and ran into Arturias over by my, yeah, Arturias. And oh yeah, same shit, man. And you got to realize, even after the Knights of the Round Table died... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they, yeah, they kept, they kept copying and mimicking, and yeah, we got our own tower shields and spears. Not, hey, straight up, I'm not, I'm not saying whatever if it wasn't as good right away. Not all of them, but some of them kept the tradition going, and I don't know, how, like, whatever, you can speculate on motives here. I'm, what I'm thinking is the best way I heard, some historians said it on a random documentary, the uh, image of professionalism. Such as Monty and his in his uniform here. Yes, his his uniform that looks slightly nicer than Rommel's uniform. Hey, what we didn't spend as much money on your suit. Hey, he's going to the. We'll give him a nice suit. Okay, you yeah, you get it. No, yeah, the, the, to them that that image of authority and and you know just looking like a professional soldier. They they that was what they were adapting more so than what you know reverence or uh, you know religion or or anything like that. I don't doubt some people just thought it was cool, but realistically, when you have a group of soldiers, yeah, in Roman equipment, and the other guys like I don't know, yeah, okay, these you guys, you look like soldiers, yeah, yeah who do you go to first? So no, they very you've both adopted this clearly, yet yeah, no, you. <laughs> You guys are probably more, yeah, they're more of a half-breed, kind of, but l more white than we are. Yeah, we're the, we're, we're the more, uh, uh, whatever, Stalin mix. I, I don't doubt that Stalin snuck out of Austria one day. Or Hungary, yeah, Austria-Hungary, yeah, right next door, bud. He could be Hungarian, he could be Austrian, he looks like a Paisano, and I don't doubt he was. But yeah, just to clarify, no, he wasn't a, a mobster of, yeah, no, I don't know, yeah, he could have been. But I, you know, all my, yeah, I don't know what, yeah, if you think, if you, what else, if you got another theory about this guy, yeah, any, any of these guys, but I'm thinking with Stalin, yeah, no, a, 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 a fucking obscure poverty indeed, the most obscure of poverty, to the, yeah, I, I'm just, you get the idea, this guy went from fucking zero to a million, all, uh, yeah, you get it, he started with the least, ended with the most, just keep it in mind when you're thinking of who won or lost, or yeah, right, you know, yeah, the, the holy war of Loki and Thor will go on for a little while longer, my friend. And yeah, it wasn't too long after that we conquered England. It was, one. Uh, we've got some funny emperors in our history, yeah, no, the, I'm not gonna go, yeah, don't worry, I didn't go on that long about Caesar, right? There's one guy, uh, uh, fucking Gullius, or Gullius, or yeah, some f funny name. Dude, some of these guys have names like Aeneas. Aeneas, yeah, no, yeah, Aeneas, yeah, straight up fucking Aeneas. Or what, Aeneas, or just fucking piss-a-penis, yes. Right? 
there's some funny, yeah, laugh it up, guys. I'm sure it meant something back in the Old Republic. He had a funny name like that, but not that funny. It was like Ga Ga Gaelian, Galianus, or, yeah, Galianus, or something fucking weird like that. And he was, yeah, like a weird guy, or he, everyone thought he was kind of dumb, but <laughs> when all, when no one else could conquer Britain but this guy, take a guess. Ba basic competence yes remember remember yeah remember when someone is reasonably competent at chess against i don't know how to play checkers that was pretty much it all right yeah we're, all right one more and then we'll get to hitler yeah there there are other people but yeah no these are generally the more famous people but, uh, yeah as young people this is why yeah you probably haven't seen most of these pictures again you've seen grumpy old stalin you've seen uh, old man monty he, he monty has a very distinct appearance when he gets older right yeah at the moment you might think so until you put him next to rommel and realize oh man they look very yeah no when he gets older, he has a much more distinct appearance. Rommel looks more normal. Yeah, but they all. What you know? What you know? What I'm saying uh, more. There's a word for this, like uh, uh, incognito. Yeah, like he, he doesn't stand out in a crowd. This guy only stands out in a crowd because he wants. Yeah, he, he's not really. Yeah, no, you get it, right? It's different. It's different. He's he knows he looks this good, but he doesn't he doesn't even uh, whatever. Yeah, no, right. Where I'm spinning into the rabbit hole, but you get it. No, yeah, you want to get Penitus Oculatus, you got to get deep into these guys. He knows his hair looks good, right? But that's it. How much further do you need to go? He doesn't need a crazy hat. He already has nice hair. Oh, brah. So do these guys. But you know, Monty's got his fucking cap at his side. I'm sure. This guy's just like, whatever, bro, I'm going to fucking Sicily to shoot up Tuscany. Uh, and then I got him crawling around mountains with cannons, but hey, he'll become artillery cannon master soon enough. All right, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, well, we did, yeah, you know. You remember this guy, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> the guy who looks like a Nazi. Yeah, no, you've seen this one before, so, you know, I've got my, my array of pictures here, so... <laughs> So, what did I do? It little kind of snap the suspense there. I thought you hadn't seen this one yet. I yeah. Oh. But yeah, no, you know, take another look. This guy, he's a bit older, right? Yeah, no, he's probably 30. He's probably about the age I am now approximately. And yeah, no, this guy is more, he's the fucking huntsman lord of ladies. He is your version of the master huntsman lord of ladies motherfucker. It's straight up. It, it's just like Franz Ferdinand. Yeah, my uh, yeah, right. Look at these two guys. Oh, which one's from Germany? Which one's from fucking Austria, buddy? Yeah, straight up. Yeah, no, this guy's definitely got, you know... Yeah, how do you say it without being too rude or too nice, right? No, he know he knows he's the king shit. Look at his rings. Yeah, I got two nice rings, bitch. One's from fucking the Swiss Dutch Count of Flanders. Yeah, look at my badge. Look at my other badge. Look at this fucking... Oh, yeah, motherfucking my sword, my smoke. Yeah, he... In his mind, he is basically the coolest man in Germany. I think he's just level-headed enough. Yeah, yeah, he, I, I, I'd say he's one of the, he becomes a bit, he's a contributing factor to the negligence going on in the office later. But again, yeah, no, he's already in his prime now. He's going to be a crazy old man by the time we get to World War II. So this guy is the guy the younger soldiers, like Monty or Rommel, would be looking up to as the, the, yeah, king shit officer, yeah. This is the guy, yeah, you get it. When this guy walks by Rommel, he's nervous and young and, oh, goddamn, here comes the fucking colonel or whatever, right? But hey, these two, uh, yeah, they end up becoming ma major players. And sure enough, I don't know how much you know about World War II, Monty and Rommel are going to meet head-on in an epic duel. Yeah, they're going to, a full-on campaign, like, yeah, not just a fight. Like a full-on game of risk between Monty and Rommel. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, you know, it's a little more exciting this way, don't you think? Instead of just, oh, yeah, oh, yeah I'm a fucking, uh, look at Hitler. Look at Hitler. I know, right? Does It almost looks like a fake picture. Ooh, he snapped that on you. Yeah, no. But no, it, it's it's a real, that's Hitler. That's von Hitler, yeah. A little more Austrian than Hungarian, I guess. I don't even know. He almost looks whiter than I do. I mean, I got a tan because of the fucking... No, we've had like a heat wave in Canada lately. I got a bit more of a tan than usual. I, I got to lift my shirt up and compare my forearm to my stomach. Laugh it up. That's, yeah. Yeah, my forearm is darker than my stomach. That's how I can judge the... Yeah, it's like measuring rings in a tree as seasons. Yeah, how hot was it this year, bud? How much time did I sit inside? And Yeah, all I'm saying is... 
Yeah, no, he's he's close. Yeah, he's half and half. Remember when the Zerg Hive Colony meets the fucking yeah meets the fucking Protoss Nexus? He's probably very close to half and half. I don't doubt he's close to half and half in the Monty. He's halfway between me and Monty, motherfucker, right? He's yeah, just enough dude brought just enough fucking Loki and Thor in there. He's he's pretty close. Yeah, he's close enough. Yeah, you can see why. Uh, right? Are, are you really gonna kick this guy out because he's not white enough? Come on, get real, guys. You might notice, too. Yeah, I'll show you the, the old man picture. You've seen it once before. He looks pretty much the same, doesn't he? No, and... I mean, r yeah, no. Th slow down and think logically. Yeah, Monty looks quite different when he's older. It, it's the same guy, but, you know, he goes from a young man to an old man. Yeah, he is not Benjamin Button or Grumpy Grandpa. Stalin, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hope you're not relying on those good looks your whole life, Stalin. Yeah, no, you get it. Yeah, he, he probably even knows it. He's like, yeah, these looks ain't gonna last forever. I got about 20 years to get my fucking nuclear launch system online before I'm too fat and old and crazy. Very <laughs> people are gonna need other reasons to listen to me. Yeah, I don't know. And I mean, Rommel, yeah, looks again. He he aged. <laughs> He ages in a way you would expect. It's like, yeah, it looks like him, but he's older. Hitler, yeah, I'm not saying he's an alien. Yeah, no, straight up. Come on, get real. What is it? Why does he look so similar? Start from the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah, don't start with the lizard man conspiracy or you will get nowhere. If it is, you, if you start there, you'll never find him. It's like Pope Don Diablo. No, 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 no. Start with the simple shit. He's had the same haircut his whole life. Motherfucker, well, I've had the same haircut most of my life. Yeah, no, I mean, I could probably do the Stalin haircut, but I gotta let it grow out. Yeah, it's that middle stage is hard. Yeah, sorry, we like to talk about greasing our hair up before we go to the casino. You can tell, though, compared to you guys. Yeah, no, Monty's just whatever. That's a hat hair, because, yeah, he just took his hat off for a picture, straight up. Rommel, yeah, he's, he's, he's short. Yeah, that's like the buzz cut army cut. Yeah, he's like professional to a T. Just enough hair that he's allowed to have. Yeah, I can keep this much, right? Straight up. How much am I allowed to keep without being a hipster douchebag? This man has earned his, uh, you know, right? He sprayed it with fucking hard... Like, that's his helmet. It's like a tactical helmet. If you hit him on the back of the head with a hammer, it'll ping! It'll bounce off of his hair. Because, yeah, it's straight up. Hitler... Yeah, no, that's the dude, bro. Like, whatever, he's just fucking... He, yeah, right? Without the mustache, he probably could be a mobster. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, he's just a little bit, a little bit in there. Uh, yeah, no, you and me, bud, we're long past which is better, which is worse. Yeah, which is better, the Protoss or the Zerg? Motherfucking both, all the shit, all the time, right? This man has been... Yeah, he, he knows he's bald. Yeah, straight up. At that point of, of you know, male pattern baldness, you know, as we discussed the top, right? Now, at this point, do you think this man... Yeah, yeah, no. Do you think that this man is, is going to spend a long time combing his hair? No. At that point, fuck it. You're just bald, buddy. Yeah, no, straight up. He knows it. I know it. You know it. Let's move back to Hitler. No, this guy... Again, it's kind of like Stalin. You see... It, they know it looks good, but that's how much further do I do I need to get a jerry curl with some perm shit going on? No, Kamala Tatark needed that hat literally to command respect, but not crazy shit. Yeah, no, like t they expect a big hat, but not too big of a hat. These motherfuckers don't want to wear hats. This motherfucker wants to wear his hat because he knows he looks like a dork without it. This guy probably doesn't want to wear his hat. He knows he looks better without it. This motherfucker has a tactical helmet of hairspray. Right? Yeah, I know. This guy, look! Yeah, fucking hell, this guy is like... B b b fucking professor of crazy man. <laughs> right? I don't even know. That is the biggest rabbit hole of... Yeah, that taking me back to Jerusalem. Let's not deal with Lawrence, but yeah. Y just the hair. Yeah, studying their hair. Right? Penitus oculatus. You start with lizard man, you're not even gonna notice who combs their hair like a dude bra, who's got the hat head, who doesn't want to wear the hat, who needs the hat, and who's like, bitch, I'm fucking bald, where's the milk? Straight up. Yeah, one of you might be thinking it. The tactical uh, helmet of hairspray? Ping! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. 
Yeah, right? He's like, yeah, I look like a fucking mobster. He straight up is at this point. He's the mobster general of your fucking army. He's probably one of the highest, like, colonel, like, right under the general, basically. Uh, yeah, as we discussed the matter of, uh, yeah, uh, mid-ranking officers just below the general and crazy queen ant, that's the guy. That's probably the highest decision maker in your army just above, just below the guy's getting too many kickbacks. He knows he's in that position, that's why. Yeah, not the best, but the just enough means, but not so famous like the Lord of Ladies where he's got a hundred bitches chasing him around Austria. This motherfucker's probably got ten bitches chasing him around Germany. And he's just like, bitch, what, yeah, right? He's straight up. What do you want from me, bitch? Don't waste my time. Yeah, no, again, it's... <laughs> You might have seen a picture of him after he's already old and crazy. Yeah, no, it helps to see them when they're a bit younger and not so crazy. Sorry, yeah, crazy grandpa is already crazy grandpa, but like, but before this even started, like I said, he was born, yeah, got milk straight up. That is the first thing his mom saw of him when he popped out. He, you know, he didn't have the suit. But straight up, bitch, where's the milk? I'm already bald. Yeah, that's it. That's what his mom saw. Okay, yeah, you're getting it. Yeah, the, these guys, they're they are people. All of them are people. I don't care if you're... If you fucking Kamal Ataturk is a person. You're gonna be like, Kamal, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. It's like Bender. Fucking, yeah, uh, yeah, right? No, you know it. Because if I took his hat off and put him on fucking uh, Angry Grandpa, yeah, oh, what? Yeah, no, you got it, man. You got it. Oh, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, consider the things like the racial t things, because it helps you identify, yeah, ooh, yeah, I, uh, he, these guys look like paisanos, he's, he's more Hungarian, he's more Austrian, yeah, right, you got it, and I mean, Stalin, like I said, Stalin looks better when he's younger, he looks more atrocious when he's older. Hitler looks like a bit more of a dork when he's younger, but he ages more gracefully. Yes, when they're both crazy old men, Hitler still looks a bit younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be the cool guy in high school. Now I used to be a dork in high school. Now I'm the cool guy and I'm a crazy fat man. But he wasn't the cool guy in high school. Yeah, no, this is something else, right? Yeah, you get it. Little pieces at a time. A lot of you probably get it too. This this is something you can't really Google because we are just speculating. Yes, as Monty would say, as he pontificates on his opium pipe. Yes, Sherlock Holmes indeed. Now, that man had a penitus oculatus. I yeah, I don't doubt he didn't understood what that meant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, those guys are more paisano than you guys are. They're very much half and half. Yeah, yeah, they, they got a lot of our weird little math tricks, and yeah, yeah. There's, there's a reason their navy is bigger than yours, Loki, and Thor. Yeah, right? Ooh, I, uh, ooh, sorry. No, I would expect you guys to have the most badass motherfucking navy. Well, they got the navy and the fucking dude bra. So, uh, I wonder why they ruled the world master race. Careful, yeah, no, but you get it. It's It's not... It's just about who won the Coliseum, bitch, and guess what? Yeah, look, uh, fast forward a hundred years to the WMD smart bombs in Iraq, fucking Kamal is gonna be a big shot. Yeah, yeah, like I said, dude bra starts with the least and ends with the most, and again, Hitler, same haircut his whole life. Stalin, he starts, he stops giving a shit. Yeah, he's like, why, yeah, no, yeah, back when I was younger, yeah, no, Hitler, back when I was younger, bitch, where's the milk? Yeah. This stupid shit does start to add up, doesn't it? No, and the thing is, once we do dig into their uh, history, whoa, yeah, normally you'd be like, oh, back in 19-something, bitch, you don't know what 19-something is. Not till you see these motherfuckers. Yeah, no, just to clarify, these are all, you know, from World War One. I. I think the only one that's off is the Lenin one, because that's the famous picture of, yeah, that's the picture of Dr. Evil, of the fucking evil Soviet Empire. Yeah, you, know, you, you should wait till Russia saves you all from the fucking black hand assassins. Yeah, after the Russian rapist saves you from the Italian mafia and the fucking war of Loki and Thor. Yes, yes, after that, then you, yeah, yeah, then got milk, bitch. And yeah, that's only a couple years after the war ended, uh, 1921, so that'd be like three, two and a half years after the war ended. So yeah, he's just recently come into power, he's probably spent the last two years fucking running around getting shit, or you know, getting shit done, where's the milk? Yeah, straight up, where's the fucking milk? Uh, yeah, I don't doubt he was a hard-ass motherfucker, right? No, you, right? Yeah, like, yeah, since we, yeah, I don't, I, I could, I, it's hard to tell when you look, right? 
this guy's already an old man in the turn of the 19th century. Yeah, yeah. You want to find the kid pictures of fucking Mr. Burns back when cameras were like the size of cars? It's possible, but yeah, I, I, when you, you dig farther back and, then, you know, cameras used to have glass plates instead of film, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, whatever. I'm sure I could find one, but realistically, th this is where we're starting. Yeah, Kamala Tatar. Yeah, I, ooh, I, where's his baby pictures? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Fucking hell. And it's funny that Goring is the one that, yeah, like signed by an artist. I'll call, yeah, dude, straight up fucking. Oh, man, mobster hair, mo fucking goddamn huntsman, Lord of Ladies. But the thing is. Yeah, you get it. It's because he is the master colonel of the army without... He's just below the hipster douchebag level. Fucking just enough tactical fucking helmet grease. Yeah, you think we're greasy with our hair? Yeah, you guys take it too far, motherfucker. And, you know, it, 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 yeah, use your own judgment. The thing is, I don't doubt he looks like this most of the time. Yes, he is posing for a picture... But that's what he looks like. Yeah, it's not like he had to, oh, where's my sword? Oh, where, yeah, where's my cigarettes? He's already smoking a sword with his cigarette. He, yeah, he wants to, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He's posing, but he's not, yeah, it, that's who he is. If anyone here is posing for the picture, I mean, you know, they're all posing for the pictures. The, 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 okay, no, I can't look at Lawrence of Arabia, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get sucked into the Holy War of Loki and Thor. I'm trying to help you guys sort that out with Monty. Right? Yeah, gotta get Stalin up in this shit. You probably get what I mean, though. Yeah, your intuition. Yeah, G Gollum, go after that that ring, not the crown. It's a metaphor when I tell you Gollum to go after the ring. Yeah, not Frodo. Gollum's supposed to go. It means you want to know. It means, yeah, I'm eager to learn whatever. No, you get it. Just by looking at Stalin and Hitler's hair. Yeah, yeah, Paisano. And, and I, whatever. You know what style. If you don't know what Stalin looks like when he's an old man. No, I'm going to save that. We'll get there. Y'all know what Hitler. Yeah, if you didn't know what Hitler looked like, I doubt you. And you would have had an interest to come here in the first place. Yeah, uh, is what it is, man. Hey, not everyone, but some people. You get it, though. No. He, yeah, he looks pretty similar, so yeah, again, it's like he's maintaining his youthful appearance, right? It's like in his mind, yeah, this is just, yeah. Whereas with Stalin, yeah, I'm sure he noticed, he, things, this is the thing, I know, I, well, fuck, man. Crazy hat theory, crazy hair theory, well, yeah, we'll get into the suits now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, this is what Sherlock Holmes does. He's just better at it than I am. I'm, I'm learning. At least I'm not in the tax receipt room. Fuck, buddy. Stalin's hair, he does the same thing. It's just a bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, and it, you get it. It's like, whatever. Yeah, he, he knows it's not worth it at that point. You know, yeah, right, get, think about it. What He knows at this point, yeah, his looks are, yeah, yeah. If, if, if looks could kill, he probably, yeah. Sorry to say it, but I'm sure most of the ladies get it. Yeah, if you didn't know that this was Stalin, right? Yeah, hello, madam. Yeah, fucking whatever. Yeah, you get it, bud. Or business, or yeah, professional looking yeah, businessman, mobster. Yeah, anything. You get it, man. No, there's, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me pick up the phone. Where's Wolfie? Yeah, your foster parents are dead. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm not saying he's killing people. I'm just saying, yeah, the robot Terminator voice thing. I, you probably, yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't fucking doubt it. And I'm just saying, He's, it's the same muscle reflex. He's putting no more or less effort into combing his hair, right? How much time do you spend in front of the mirror in the morning, bitch? Where's the milk? I'm a fucking zero minutes in front of, yeah, no, he, he combs his mustache. Yeah, how much time do, yeah, you, you get it. Yeah, this is how you figure things out. Fucking T.E. Lawrence looks like he knows he's never going to be seen again. Fuck, yeah, no. Oh, boy. But no, you get it. It's like... At this point in his life, it's worth a little bit of effort to go a long way in if looks could kill. When he's 50 years old, yeah, looks can kill, motherfucker. Yeah, right, kind of opposite. Zero, zero, not one, one. Yeah, no, that's the opposite version. Whereas, yeah, at this point, it's just easier to have shorter hair, right? Yeah, it's like, what? I'm not going to look any better if, yeah, he'd look goofier if he grew his hair out when he was older. He's still conscientious of that. He probably still misses the good old days of being, yeah, the sexiest man in Russia. Fucking whatever. So, prove me wrong, ladies. I'm just saying, you got to be able, yeah, you, if you can't even, if you're going to start giggling every time I say tit nipples or something, come on, ladies. Let's fucking get our shit together here. 
even Rommel, he wants to do it, but he, yeah, he's he wants to be professional first and mobster second. He's straight up heading into mobster Sicily ter not Sicily, but come on, Tuscany, whatever, bud. He's going to the mob wars, he's doing the mob comb over, but yeah, no, first and foremost, I'm a fucking officer, yeah, digging trenches for my homeboy. No, straight up, but yeah, how much can I get away with? How much, yeah, just enough, you don't, if anyone sp who spends the most time in front of the mirror, fucking Rommel, I hate to say it, and it's just that reason. He knows, whatever, it's just, yeah, I, I want just enough of it, but not enough that the men with the tacticals of hairspray helmet will, you know, tell you to get a haircut, because then it's going to be shorter, right? Well, fuck, man, I mean, yeah, you're going to have duty leave. he's going to be getting chased around Italy by crazy bitches, right? He's got to be ready for that shit. Fucking Monty's just like, bitch, I want to put my hat back on. Yeah, fucking, you made me wear this stupid thing, and why do I have to take it off now? Yes. Oh, these mannerisms are all backwards. <laughs> yep. And, <laughs> I don't know. And with Stalin, yeah, you probably get, obviously, yeah, this is why I got some level of respect for the guy. Zero to hero, no shit. No, eh, think about it in the skeptical asshole CNN fucking, yeah, no, man. Lou Dobbs, straight up Lou Dobbs bitching about this motherfucker for anything. Yeah, yeah, oh, the, the Russian Soviet Empire, this man has to, bitch, this man, whatever power he gained, yeah. You think he paid for it? Yeah, royal blue blood? Yeah, a special deal from the Pope or the Queen or the, no, buddy, no. Crawled out of a ditch after a fucking coat hanger abortion, fucking found himself some milk, and motherfucker made himself into the sexiest man in Russia, and straight up, no, you get it, sometimes... That, yeah, you get it. He's bordering on Superman. He's not Superman, but he's in that realm of people who, you get it. There's a reason he became, like, the, one of the most powerful people in the world for a very long, his whole, you know, until he died of old age at 70-something. And he made, he, he built it all up from the ground. And I know, yeah, you know, there's a lot of those rags-to-riches stories. But again, this ain't winning the lottery. This ain't selling a first hit album. Ooh, I finally got my record deal. Bitch, I finally found some milk and a comb. Just don't fool yourself. You get it. Some people, it's like, no, no, it must be. If you try to, you know... They, they they would be like, oh no, you're ignorant, you're avoiding the money, yeah, what about America? Yeah, what about America? I'm sure a bunch of money in Swiss gold in a Dutch bank account in America is why he became... No, he you know why Dude Bra here became the fucking nuclear missile master of Russia. My fuck has got a master nuclear missile, yeah, straight up, you, can, you know what's up, bitch. And, oh yeah, I'll do one point of speculation on this motherfucker, yeah, yeah, you, you know... Again, don't idolize, the, yeah, he's kind of like Julius Caesar and, and Napoleon. Don't idolize him, but, yeah, straight up, you know, what's your secret, Flanders? What's your secret, Rommel? Monty is, so, so, how, yeah, he is pissed. He will be very angry very soon, but as the best of the best, sir, he will comport himself properly. Bitch wears the milk, motherfucking hat is on right and tight. Yeah, no, you got a good sense of these people. This is what it is. And yeah, back to Hitler, man. No, I mean, you get it. He's... I don't know. Like I said, I've had a very similar haircut m most of my life. What I, I, I only, like, comb it down like that if I, yo know, going out... Yeah, not anywhere special, just whatever. If I know I'm going to be out for a while, anything. This is what I mean. It only takes a few minutes, right? Again, how much time did you spend in front of the mirror, Rommel? Hey, maybe Goring spends a bit more time, but like I said, no, he probably looks like that most of the time anyway. Yeah, he's got to do the tactical hairspray thing. That's pretty much it, yeah. Right? right? And again, Rommel's the nervous young lieutenant who doesn't want to get fired or, you know, make an ass of himself. This is your big shot chance to be the big shot hero of the whole fucking country. You want to be the fucking master huntsman lord of ladies? Yeah, he was straight up, bud. Straight from mob wars to lord of ladies. He's open on it. He's counting on it. Monty's like, fucking bitch. Yeah. God damn cunt. Oh, don't worry, bud. It's okay, Monty. You can tell us. Yep. Bitch, where's the milk? I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, how much longer can we do this? No, you get it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, what? That, that's the collection. That's the whole lineup. Sorry, unless you want to go look at the fucking Lord of Ladies or fucking Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's end with Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, uh, watch me get sucked into... Yeah, yeah, right now, you guys see what, how far this can get? This is a weird one. Yeah, no, I mean, that guy... Yeah, yeah. 
It's kind of like Stalin, but different. Yeah, no, I'd put him in a similar realm, because remember, yeah, no, this guy, he's just straight from university to military college to fucking spy school to fucking James Bond to the Middle East to fucking Master Lord of Arabia to Israel to fucking hashashinated by hashashins. I don't doubt it. Yeah, it's like a vague, yeah. There's a reason there ain't too many eyewitnesses. There's a movie about it. Yeah, he's a, he is something of a legend, but you get it. The more of a legend you become, yeah, yeah, things start to get a little fuzzy down in fucking Israel, bud. I'm, I've got my point of speculation for Stalin, but no, I'm gonna do it for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you wanna bet he got a little absorbed in his work? Yeah, you know, James Bond gets, uh, yeah, gets a little tied up in his work. There's not gonna be 30 James Bond movies. Yeah, oh, who's the next James Bond? Bitch, this is the James Bond, and after him, there is, you know, there's, there's other guys, but yeah, no. Where's Daniel Craig? Where's James Blonde? Bitch, this is James Blonde. He's done the professor- he has professor hair. He has university professor, like, scientist hair. Yeah, quick, quick comb over. Yeah, he didn't- yeah, yeah, you can see the little split ends popping up there, little Einstein threads. Straight from university to military school. Yeah, right. How much? How, how much shit? Like, cause, yeah, when do you start agreeing to this sort of thing, right? You, he's gotta start young. Maybe when- he would already have to be a professor, but then it's like, okay, professor, yeah, do you, are you here, are you ready to go to fucking Arabia? Because, think about it, yeah, how, how soon could they have started planning this, right? No, you're starting to get it. Even if it is the, la even if it is the lizard man conspiracy, bra, here is a lizard conspiracy card, you can use it once, straight up. Even if it's the lizard man, they... She needed to know what to do first. Yeah, no, straight up. Who needs the quickie mart, bitch? She, right at the point at which they knew we needed the quickie mart is when, yeah, broad, he must have already been. Yeah, he must have already been their top spy. No way you start recruiting this guy. Yeah, 10 years later. He, oh, yeah, right. Too late, buddy. No, no, he had to have been ready already. He was already their top spy. Straight up, James Bond, motherfucker. But straight up, you know, once you're the Lord of Arabia, motherfucker. But then, oh, all the Muslims are not going to like this man after Israel. No, Binder, no, Binder, no. Yeah, think about it. He, he becomes the queen bitch of the universe, the queen bitch of the fucking Middle East. Straight up, he has his own fucking empire going. But then, you know, you get it. All It was his army of Muslims? Yeah, no, no, army of Hashashans who want your head now, bud. I don't know. I don't know if he made it back. I, I'll, I'll Google a bit, but you got it. Yeah, I, I'm only Googling so far into this rabbit hole. Look at him. Yeah, no, he's straight up fucking Lord of Arabia at this point. Close as any white man got. And yeah, yeah, no, you get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I'm saying, no, you get it. With the whole Israel thing, if you saw last time, no, he is responsible as... It, 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 yeah, technically, no. Catalyst. Agent provocateur. That's straight up what that is. An agent that provokes conflict between B Binder and fucking uh, uh, Borat. And yeah, straight up. Provoking conflict indeed, agent provocateur. Fucking hell, man. And yeah, Stalin. There's a, a somewhat... Fa yeah, one of the few points of his personal life that's somewhat known... Is that is yeah he he did have a love of his life uh, yeah oh yeah right Imagine, it could have been you lady she died at some point uh, she, they were older I don't think she was assassinated nothing I could have been you whatever women have heart conditions at forty his wife died when he was mid age like forty ish and yeah from that point there's some famous quote about yeah whatever shred of humanity I felt before pretty slim shred of humanity from before at least he was yeah he's living off his haircut a ball and right nuclear missile rocket whatever the fuck he's got going on that's not there anymore oh and then his wife's not there anymore i got a hundred nuclear missiles in the states is being a dick no oh buddy buddy bra you want to start a nuclear fucking cold war bitch yeah whatever shred of humanity i felt before God damn hope I never feel it again. Something like that. One of those, yeah, fucking put that on your fridge magnet. Yeah, no, straight up. Whatever. Yeah, you thought he was crazy before. Oh, he met the love of his life and then she died. And it's not like he could have saved her or stopped it or, yeah, no. Natural causes, motherfucker, yeah. 
I bet you want to see some natural big motherfucking bombs. The shit, the radiation's all natural, bitch. Yeah, you get it. If you're ever wondering how how that evil Russian, bad that that suavest man in the sexiest Serbian Europe, fucking straight from Hungary to Moscow, bitch invented the Moscow jump, straight up. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. We spent a good hour profiling these guys, cause no, yeah, when yeah, when does Hitler get here, bitch? Hitler is here. Hitler's gonna roll into, yeah, straight from Austria into Germany. Yeah, no, he's got some turmoil. He's got, like, preppy turmoil. No, I, come on. You know, he probably wasn't, you, you get what I mean. No, Stalin is, what's, there's a word for this, history of violence. It doesn't mean you're a violent person. It's kind of like the, the take your number and, yeah, have a seat, have a seat, please. Yeah, I have my own history of violence, but again, it doesn't mean, yeah, yeah, I don't get crazy with this shit. Like I said, I could count the number of actual kind of fistfights I've been in on my fingers, and most most of them weren't that spectacular, right? Only one of them would have been a good Coliseum battle, straight up. That's it, yeah, that's it, right? Am I going to start putting jerry curls in here? No, man. I'm not saying you can't, brah. But don't bullshit me saying you ain't spending more time in front of the mirror than fucking Rommel here. No, you get it. Goring, yeah, he's got... The, like I said, it only takes a few minutes. Takes Rommel twice as long. Because, yeah, yeah, he's... When do I cut it, bitch? Yeah, when he walks into that barber, oh, he doesn't want to be the dandy princess. He's got to know what to say as soon as he sits down in that chair. Yeah, yeah. If anyone spends more time thinking about their hair... It's Rommel, and it's only a f it's only a few minutes, bud. But that's yeah, yeah. This motherfucker, it, it, right? Not yeah. I'm sorry. It's just whatever, man. Throw your own theory in there. Yeah. What else about these people? These pictures? Well, what? Well, yeah. What can you draw from any of these? Just take a look at them, and yeah. When we come back, no. Well, yeah. You, you know where Monty is. You know where Rommel's going. You know where Kamal is. Bitch, where's the milk? He's still in fucking Switzerland. Stalin, I don't know. That's just a random picture of him when he's younger. It's one of the only ones he'll show up later. But yeah, no, he's not a soldier. He's not, he's not involved. Whatever he's involved in, well, fucking, yeah, no, I don't know. It's in the freezer somewhere. Yeah, I don't know, and I don't want to demonize it. I'm poking fun at the man because, yeah, straight up. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, sketchy motherfucker. Yeah, no, let's avoid that Pan's Labyrinth. No, if, if you got anything to tell me, yeah, after I was doing the whole Loki and Thor thing, yeah, no, man, Binder, me and Binder yeah, are dealing with this guy's shit, so let me know what you think. Fucking tactical helmet. Ping! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Hitler will, is finally on the way. Yeah, some awkward... Yeah, 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 you get it. No, you get it. He's kind of a nerd or whatever. He's a, so am I, right? But yeah, we probably did have some things in common. But yeah, yeah, yeah right. I, yeah, I'm not going to say I'm like Stalin, but no, you probably get it. Of all these people, this is the guy I'm thinking. Yeah, like, yeah, won the Colosseum. No shit. I'm sure you guys see it. Yeah, the, this is something that we can't ignore. No matter how evil, like, whatever, yeah, evil, evil, yeah, even the queen ain't evil, she's just a spindly spider bitch. This is a fucking, I don't know, what, is there, he's something, he's nuclear missile master, okay. No, we'll come back to this, you know, draw your own conclusions, and welcome to the Penitus Oculatus.